problem really comes in how do we get more resources to assess, assess those farmers who are addressing it to do it much more effectively. Um, things that we have a bottleneck constraint when it comes to the whole question of getting those resources to farmers. I mean, like, we've recognized already that for instance, even in terms of the we're ready to turn the seed. Some farmers have already looked to see, okay, what other different varieties of seeds do we need to get? Um, we've looked at seeds, for instance, in terms of those that are most suited for the We often had a problem during the better parts of the year in terms of cultivating certain types of seeds. We've sort of looked at that. The thing is really, though, how do we get resources to farm in order to cut and to implement those things? Um, and it is extremely important because really the, the ability of farms to be sustainable and to compete in this environment where you have the impact of climate change coming about um, is, is a very borderline situation. And to the extent where we can actually encourage more farms to be able to utilize it, I mean, you, you, you refer to the old question of uh, the use, for instance, the question of biogas operations in our business. Um, by and large, over the years, we've had about four, three, four, three, three successful mm -hmm. examples of biogas operations. The reason why each of them have not been able to be completed is largely because of the investment that is needed in order to sort of um, address them was the forthcoming in the long term. So how do we, for instance, you talk about using the, the, the engineers and stuff like that. What we need is a question of a more applied science. In other words, we need to take engineers from universities, we need to take the people from out of the of our country and put them on the farms to do more applied work, in which, in that way, what you see is translated more benefits. I'll give you a typical example of what I'm talking about. You take